Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Today we're gonna to talk about the low pressure fuel sensor upgrade on your N54 powered BMW. So for those of you new to my channel, I upgraded my low pressure fuel sensor on my car more than two years ago because my original one was not reporting back to the DME. And I put out a video talking about that and showing you how to monitor the pressure. I was investigating a fuel smell or a fuel leak under the hood. If you notice, I already have the Helix Overdrive four times kit attached to my HPFP. To investigate, I already removed the throttle body and I noticed that there was fuel leaking right from where the low pressure sensor sits. That's right there in the shot. For you guys that aren't aware, they upgraded the low pressure fuel sensor on the N54. They changed it from a brass style and they changed the way it interfaces with the low pressure fuel line. If you notice, this is more like an AN fitting where it kind of has a cone shape and it will bite into the pipe. But if you notice, there's also a spot for an O-ring to live. They offered this and they recommended that if you're gonna put this in to change your low pressure line as well, because this is designed to bite into the line itself. Whereas the original sensor was just flat on the bottom and it had an O-ring. But they made it so that if you really wanted to, you could put an O-ring on this and use it on your original line. And I know a lot of people have done that and I've done that myself and it lasted two and a half years. I could probably just change the O-ring and be done with it, but there's an update since then and I wanna show that to you. At least this update I found now and I wasn't able to find it back then. So I picked up two parts. That's the part number there. I'm gonna put a link in the description, of course, so you guys can get this if you want to. There's an adapter. There's also a compatible O-ring, which is designed for fuel. That is a part number there. And again, I'll put a link in the description if you guys are interested in purchasing this. So this is how I've been running this sensor all this time on my original fuel line. I had an O-ring, which would slot right in the back here, and it was sealing. But eventually with time, the pressure made its way past because of the way this sensor is designed and it started to leak. I could have just changed the O-ring and bought myself more time. This lasted thousands of miles, 20,000 plus miles and two plus years of driving. But still, if you guys are upgrading your low pressure fuel sensor, they recommend that you replace the line. At least they did back in the day because this is meant to interface with the line and stop vibration because the original brass style low pressure fuel sensor would vibrate itself to the point where it would fail. But this one's supposed to brace itself off the line and make it so that like an AN style fitting, it bites down onto the line and won't vibrate as much. It is not likely to fail. So I know a lot of you guys watch my video about the low pressure fuel sensor. You can run an N54 without a low pressure fuel sensor. It will work. It won't even throw a check engine light because a lot of cars don't even have a low pressure fuel sensor from the factory and you have to add them back in. When they brought the N54 out, they wanted as many details as possible. So they included a low pressure fuel sensor on the system, which is great because you can monitor your low side and make sure your pumps are working properly as well as your high pressure side. So I already removed the throttle body and whatnot just to diagnose where the leak was coming from. And then I found the kit to improve this and do it properly. So I'm gonna show you that now. Again, there's the part number for the adapter. So as you can see, this is basically designed to interface with this sensor on the one side, it's curved on the inside, so they can bite into each other and seal properly without an O-ring from the factory AN style. And that's what you would have got if you opted to go for the upgraded line. The whole line, the whole kit would have been like $180 instead of 40 something dollars for the sensor or about 60 for this kit with this adapter. But if you guys are gonna go to the newer generation sensor, which is recommended, then you wanna run the adapter. No point buying the original sensor anymore. But this basically screws in here to the point where you bottom this down onto this. And now this is the original style. It's flat and it looks just like what the original sensor looked like and it's meant to work with the original line. So now had I just purchased this O-ring a brand new OEM O-ring back in the day, something that's designed for fuel and whatnot, I probably would have bought myself more time. If I learn of a more proper way to do something, I will always tell you guys. So there's the brand new O-ring. It'll just slide over. We're in good shape. So I'm gonna screw these together now. 
So this second gen Bosch sensor is a 27 and I'm using a 14 to tighten them to each other. Got a nice solid connection there. Now this will be easy to screw back on the car and just use a regular wrench. So let's do that now. All right guys, just a quick video showing you how to upgrade your low pressure sensor on your N54 powered car if you have your original fuel line. If this is the first video you're catching on mine, please consider subscribing. I do upload regularly. Thanks for watching.